Hello everybody, welcome to Digimon Knighthood. I'm Dan Ninja Dan. It's funny how I sound like this. Fatty, that's cool. You wanted to start doing your introduction. Go ahead, you can start. That's what you get. Okay, <laughs> I'm Battery Betty. At Battery Betty on Twitter. I hardly use Twitter anymore. I don't have anything else to promo. Uh, d Chibi? Hi there, my name is Chibi Wisdom. You can find me at Chibi Wisdom over on Twitter and Tumblr. Both Chibi Wisdom art, but... Uh, I have commissions open. I'm also the DM for a whole bunch of things here on File Phantasma. I also do art for a lot of things here on File Phantasma. I do a lot. Help me. Dan. Hi, Ninja Dance Funhouse, uh, channel manager and editor here at File Phantasma. I'm in a whole bunch of stuff on here in case you hadn't, in case you couldn't tell if you're watching File Phantasma itself, or Bugs' phones, or here in Digimon, or <laughs> freaking name it. Uh, uh hi. Hi, I'm Hyperbolist. Um, I, I um, I'm well. I'm a player in this game. This is Puki Sato. You can find me on Twitter at Hyperbolist. Um, and I guess Tumblr. Don't haven't really looked into that much, but anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm in a bunch of other games, such as uh, the Blackwing Delta as Xander Bellwin, and a few other games, mostly done by Chibi Wisdom. Um, also. <laughs> Cable. Hi, I'm Cable Provider. You might know me from a little film called Gone with the Wind. Uh, you know, I was a featured background <laughs> actor. Oh. Uh, you might also recognize me from my 400 hour long cameo in the uncut version of Titanic. I was the iceberg. But anyway, I DM a lot of stuff here on File Phantasma. I founded this. Uh, you know, I, I had to give it a name because once it had a name, I legally couldn't get rid of it. So, it stuck with me for the rest of my life, but I kind of love it, is what I tell it. Anyway, uh, Batty. How are you, went? I know, I want you to go again. Okay, I'm Battery Batty. I'm <laughs> Battery Batty on Twitter. Social media sucks. So I also lazy. DM I already heard tons. that one. Jack, go ahead. Please just ignore him. Oh. Uh, hi, Blackjack K9. I'm your DM for this evening. I do a shit ton of stuff here and there. I have no social life outside of this so hooray my commissions are up go check those out I, I need money he also does quick and good work it's because I have no social life that I can get your work quick so uh with all that out of the way who wants to give us a recap last time on Digimon Knighthood Buki went through the trial of the Slayer, the Dragon Slayer. Sorry, um, almost failed, almost failed, barely passed. Learned his, um, hopefully learned most of his lessons, um, and got asked on the true Dra Draco Slayer. Now we are back at uh, Windmill Village, and uh, are about to separate into two separate groups, going from. Aoi, Chino, and Seiichi to um to go meet uh these well the overseer of the digital world. And uh me, Mai, and uh Vetus going to Ken's ship for some uh experimentation. Is that it? That's pretty much it. What you want, Jack? Casual initiative from each side, roll a D twenty, see who goes first. Uh yeah. One right. person from each team. Dan, I nominate you to roll the d20 because I believe in you. I nominate Ma. I nominate Chibi. Oh, I was going to say, you're you're the crest of reliability, though. Go. <laughs> yeah. That's 10. You know what? <laughs> we roll it. Not the lowest, not the highest. <laughs> Middle of the roadie. 20. Ma oh, is ready to go. Just... We're doing the shit first. She's just twice as enthusiastic, which means I'm going to go on mute and drink my energy drink. I'm going oh, to freaking mute oh, myself dear. now. Put tape over it. Put tape over my mouth or I will keep talking. <laughs> How he's currently lost speaking privileges. So, we're going to uh, the ship, uh, the uh, Temple of Anubis, or Ken's old ship. Not oh, my. quite yet, but yes. Okay, what, okay, what do we need to do? Well, I don't suppose you're you know how to fix the ship, right? Um, I've been there once. It is full of 
huge structural integrity problems, sand's leaking in it, so we're probably going to need a lot of people to actually assist in cleaning it up. But even if it was cleaned up, I don't think you know how to fix it, right? No, we'd probably have to go to Cyber City, because there's probably some people there that know how to fix it. Maya just snaps her fingers and points at Hibuki. Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to head to Cyber City and maybe see if we can get some people to help. Yeah. Does Cyber City have a mayor? Maybe we can go and find the Cyber City I mayor. think the closest they have is Ostamon. Your Uncle Ostamon. Or Ostamon. Maya just shivers. Don't suggest that. <laughs> don't, don't suggest that Uncle Asta has power. <laughs> it goes to his head. Uh, or at least uh, he's. Start. Or at least Ostamon is the leader of the criminal un underworld there, since you know mob. It's true. They might be able to point us in the right direction. Yep. Well, I guess we need to go to Cyber City then. Yep. Hmm. All right. Let's go, everybody. Oh, that's right. I'm coming too, right? I mean, you don't have <laughs> to if you don't want to. Up. Uh, yeah. No, no. I can't sit around here all day just doing nothing. We're yeah, that's go... fair. Wait, you've never been to the giant bean. The giant what? You'll the ship. See. It looks like a giant bean. Anyway, you'll see. Yeah. Okay, then. Or a weird tortoise or a weird snail shell a kidney bean. yep we're we're saying this all about going to glitch wizard mod <laughs> yeah we're just passing through all right you make your way through the stall hi yep. glitch wizard mod hi anything new today not since the last time it was checked yeah I, uh, okay oh yeah i bought two packs i haven't oh. opened them yet why don't you do that now while we're here? It was one of each. Hibuki, why do your item cards look evil? <clears throat> because, well, they te uh, apparently fate tends to like to give me a bit of a ironic pull. <laughs> Hence why I have a spell that can shoot out flaming spider webs. <laughs> I don't suppose you're going to use those. Hopefully you're not. Oh, the revelation of hidden power? No, that, that one's getting crunched if, if need be. That's crunch I water. Know, I don't know what dark spiral or dark trading manual does, but those don't sound good. Mm. Whatever. Uh, We'll deal with that later. Deal with it later. We yep. have so much to deal with later. Later is no. Oh. We've got to. We've got to go and we've got to go and uh, try and recruit a workforce. Well, let's go talk with Uncle Asta first and see if he knows best place to go. Yeah. We're heading to the mansion first. Do 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 do. All right, and make your way back over to the big house. Basically the same as how you left it when you go in. Knock, Still knock. fairly kind of empty. Hello? Is Dark Tremont here? No, he's, uh... He, you already took him to the, uh... Bonjour okay, yeah, Leomon, he's there. Okay, I was... I, I, okay. Brain having a... It's been a bit. It's been a bit. <laughs> um, is anyone here? You don't hear an answer. Hmm. So there's no other affiliated people in this house. Yeah, shut the check, aren't you? Yeah, going. Uh, my, do you want to go in? I have a better idea. Hmm. hmm. I'm gonna. So, Jack, I'm going to roll a performance check at disadvantage. Mm hmm. Uh, because Maya's going to do some acting. 
Um, you see, Maya's uh, opening the door. Maya's just going to immediately go, Ah, my leg! Uncle Asta, please! Someone help! <laughs> 15. <laughs> That's still decent, even at disadvantage. You just hear loud, fucking heavy running footsteps through the house. And you see your uncle fucking running up saying, she, if she gets hurt, my kneecaps are gonna take it! <laughs> oh well, I'm glad you're concerned about your knees. Bookie's hands don't, are up. Don't do that to me. We didn't know where everyone else was. <laughs> hung over. Drink some water? No, I'm fine. Get some bacon and eggs. Tends to help with that. I just digs into her pocket. You want a peach? Yeah, sure. Mm. But I'm glad to see that you're back. I guess we're back. I'm glad to see you. <laughs> um, yeah, good to see you too, kid. I'm wondering if there's anything, if there's something you could help us with. What about that? We need to hire a workforce. <laughs> um, huh. mm, are you familiar with someone by the name of the Digimon Emperor? Uh, I haven't heard a name like that in a long time. So you have heard of it, right? Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of people have. Okay. Um. Well, apparently we found his ship out in like the desert, and we were wondering if we could get some people to maybe get it back online. Hmm. It doesn't have to be super functional. Just be able to work. <laughs> Hmm. You may want to check out the weapons district then. Hmm. Weapons district? Hmm. Mm hmm. Clear on the other side of town from us, but they should have uh, all the kinds of people you're looking for to help. Understood. Um. If not bad in the business district, but most likely the weapons. Oh yeah, where's other Ostamon? He's uh doing some negotiations at the moment. I thought it would be important to let both of you know that we're kind of on the home stretch right now. Yeah. Um, me and Kibuki and uh, Vedas are taking a detour, but. Everyone else is getting things ready before we head off to Angel Island. It's likely that once we get there, there's no turning back. Yeah, I know. That's why the other one's off doing the, the responsible thing. Mm -hmm. Well, he still has responsibility. Tendencies. <laughs> well, we still have responsibility. I won't have to for much longer. What what is Bella Starmon's reaction to all this? Cause I she never goes into the Digivice. I don't unless she wants to. She, she's just always out. It's looking this man up and down, just like how fucking far have you fallen? <laughs> you used to be competent. <laughs> you used to be a mafia leader. What happened. Mm, okay. Now, what did yeah. happen? Better not to pry. That's some future thing. Okay. <laughs> Looks at you. You know. No, I don't. You will. Oh, no. Well, if that's the case, then, um, I guess I can leave you go, you both to it. Take another bite of peach. 
Mm-hmm, yep. There's still like lots of important business stuff to do. Mm. Definitely not more day drinking. Again, bacon, eggs, something really greasy tends to help. How do you know that, Hibuki? Ogremon. Still doesn't explain how you know that. Hangovers. Like, you, get, you can get hangovers. I looked it up. Whatever, okay. <laughs> what? Gluck, gluck, gluck. Bah! <laughs> I have more <laughs> questions, but I'm just not going to worry about it. <laughs> well, in that case, thank you for the information. We'll leave you to it. Be careful out there. I was just going to go over and give him a hug. You too. He smells like old man. You stink. <laughs> when was the last time you took a bath? Uh... Can you please take a shower? Before we return back to our time? Oh, do it when we get home. I don't think Mom's gonna appreciate that. She won't have to know about this though, will she? Uh, yeah. Looks at Beelzemon, huh? Well, well, ho hopefully nothing happens where you become like that. <laughs> I'm just gonna, as walking by, like gonna look towards Beelzebub and go, "That's your future, Dan." Uh, it just <laughs> ties and droops down in defeat. I can't believe this. Yeah. No, oh, don't look, don't look too upset. Damn. No, I'm just. No, I'm just worried. No, sorry, I just worried. Like, uh Okay, what did I do? Well, Gave the warning. We'll worry about that later. Yeah. Anyway, off, off to the weapons district. If there's anything I've learned about time travel, don't question it at this point. Weapons district. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you make your way through the, the town. Not as busy as it normally as it normally has been in the past. That's concerning. <laughs> Seems to be only a few like people out on the streets itself. I mean, they seem to be in a bit of a rush. Everyone's in a hurry. Yeah. Maybe everyone's gotten word of what's happening. Yeah. If that's the case, then we might actually find most people over at the weapons district. Yep. If I learned anything from my time in America, yeah, when people are weird, weirded out, they buy a lot of weapons. Looks at the hard camera. Anyway. Wait, Vetus, this is your first time here, right? I don't know, is it? I'm sorry, I'm not fully paying attention. It's okay. <laughs> Mine just blinks a couple times like she has no idea how to respond to that. No, no it's Vetus, um, I think it was. You've been here very temporarily. Also, where, how are you holding up? Uh, I'm still trying to wrap my head around everything here. Yeah. I've been at this as long as the rest of you. It's a lot to take in. Yeah. You. You. We've only had maybe, a, what was it, like three months? Technically, maybe. I don't know. It's time. The time dilation is very. That's what actually messes me up the most. Mm. Uh. I got an idea. Just to kind of 
maybe acclimate a little bit. Mm -hmm. The streets are relatively empty, yeah? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, Vedas, how fast do you think you are? Uh, I don't know, my top speed now. You think you're faster than me? I mean, probably. Want to find out? Bring it on, sister. <laughs> Race you to the weapons district. As soon as she even says that, she just starts booking it. <laughs> yeah, all right, then. Ha Actually, Buffy's going to also join in. What's your top speed? Uh, just actually running? <laughs> yeah. Or flying? Because those are yeah. different entirely. Yes. Uh, technically, it's uh, 70. <laughs> huh. Ooh. Is that dashing or not? That's, uh, I think I can bonus action dash, so... Uh, not even with an action dash. Uh, that's it's seventy. Uh, okay. Mine's pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. Just just behind the sixty. You're fucking bobbing or weaving through these fucking streets currently. Thankfully, with not that many people around, you don't. Knock into anyone by accident. Uh, I actually do something just to see if I can actually try and keep up. Oh. Mm -hmm. Haste. Jesus. That's cheating! You Man. fucking double speed yourself. And it's actually part of my Christmas Revolution! That's still cheating! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, do we make it to the weapons district? Yeah, you fucking... You got Carl got fucking sonic cones in the air trying to meet your fucking way there. <sighs> the and good the thing you, were going through, you had to go through Old Town, which is just... Destroyed housing buildings, or she would have done some serious damage to these surrounding areas. That is horribly depressing. <sighs> <sighs> okay, one, two. Okay, can we just call that one a draw? <laughs> okay, good. I'm, I'm back. And the victor by age, Mayumi Date! Yeah! <sighs> Jesus. I'm, out of I'm shape. not doing that again for a while. It's so much easier to fly everywhere. Oh. I That's what I've been telling you. But because I've been flying everywhere, I don't run good. Uh, uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Anyways. Where the hell are we? Oh, sorry. You <laughs> said a bad word. Who do we talk to about getting stuff? I guess maybe is there like a factory or something? Okay, you look, there's all factories here. Thank you, Uncle Asta, for not giving us specific directions. Well. Now we just go. Then we can just go up and ask somebody. Yeah. What? I, I ain't sorry, we shouldn't really do that. Normally, but we're children with superpowers and superpowered uh, friends. Right. <clears throat> um, okay. I guess we'll just go into one building and just first person that we see. Hello. That doesn't look busy. <laughs> Alright, you walk up into one of the buildings. You just enter into what seems like a reception area. Hello. What did you want at the front desk, Jack?
you see a uh, you see a Numamon wearing the receptionist glasses, using its eyeballs to type up onto a onto a computer. Oh, that hurts me looking at that. <laughs> uh, hello. hello. What do you want? Um. We were wondering if it would be possible to hire some people. You want to go through the, uh... <laughs> Lowest glasses. Le legal means. Yes? <laughs> Can I roll an insight on that? Yeah. Roll, roll, roll in insight. Thirteen? Uh you know what she means. Yeah, I was gonna say, I've already made my assumptions here. Mm, which one gets us people to help us with our job a little bit quicker? <laughs> you just see your chewing gum and then presses a button under the desk. Our associate will be with you shortly. Thank you very much. I was never here talking to you about this. Of course not. I'm gonna try my best to forget this even happened. <laughs> forget what, Hibuki? Exactly. He's already stopped listening to the both of you. I'm just gonna sit in a chair. You know, one of those, like, really uncomfortable, like, office chairs that you get at a reception area. Feel like they're made out of, like, metal and wood and despair. <laughs> Scratchiest mm -hmm. seats you've ever seen. Alright, you just sit there and wait for a bit while uh, this so-called uh, person is coming. Hmm. After well, it feels like just a few minutes, really. It's not like that long of a wait. You see a uh, Andromon come walking through. Oh, cool! I hear you want uh, some help. Yes, we do. Um, is there somewhere we can speak more privately? We'll come through. Come through to my office. Understood. Thank you. We lead you through. Yeah, opens the door to his office. It's quite nice on the inside, but looks like it's uh, being kind of packed up at the moment. Hmm. Would you like to see? Pack oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Packing up for some event or moving? I mean, you heard the news. The digital world ending. That might be why we're here to talk. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, who's who gave you that information? It was uh, Ostamon. He's uh, been under the decree of the Royal Knights. He's been going around helping people evacuate. That's good. Some people have already started making their way into the human world. That could be a problem. But that we're here to discuss business instead. <laughs> um, if what we're planning on doing is actually beneficial, then there might not be a reason to move. <laughs> you see, some of the Digi Destined are currently working on potentially alleviating that problem. Um, but, what we're here doing right now, um, perhaps you're not, I don't know if you're familiar, but are you familiar with, um, a individual by the name of the Digimon Emperor? Oh, we're very aware of what the Emperor did here. 
Well, that saves some trouble. Um, but we have successfully located his ship. And we have the intention of, instead of leaving something that at one point left a stain on this world, bringing it back and using it to help people. That's a big ass. We knew we were coming to the right people, though. Ah. Uh... He just stops to think for a minute. I can try and round up as many of my guys as I can to help you with this, but I don't, I don't know if it's completely doable. You would also get, um, you know, the ability to actually look at some potential machines that uh, aren't regularly shown. Or might not have any idea of how they were made, but could be I'm not. I'm not interested in that. I'm just interested in doing my own work. Fair enough. I say that I can probably try and round up some guys to help, but that's as far as I can. That's as far as I can offer, at least. Appreciate that. Any. Anything else that you need assistance with? No, nothing really. Because if everything goes all up and in, I won't be here to see it happen. Fair enough. So, oh, by the way, I have a question. And I forget if somebody actually told me. Um, What was with the old town? Why was it so destroyed? Oh, that's what happened during the... Uh... During the time the Daemon was here. That was one of the other housing districts. Oh. That was the first place that was attacked when he came. Okay. We just haven't had a chance to rebuild it yet. Hmm. Well, looks like we won't have to anyway now. Did they, did they ever recover like a weird piece of him? Mm. Nothing that was found after he was defeated. Okay. I'm just making sure. <sighs> Never be too careful. Alright. Face, you got anything you need to ask? I don't even know what I'm really supposed to ask, so, uh... Anything helps. <laughs> I don't know, I guess, uh... The thing is, this is gonna be a big project, I mean... We're gonna need... At least a dozen people working on tech, at least double the amount of that for, uh... Muscle, just in case we need to do some heavy lifting, which we'll probably need to do some heavy lifting if this place is understand. We're going to need some diggers, we're going to need some excavators, we're going to need... And he just stops and looks up, uh, am I going on too much about this? No, that's actually quite helpful that way. I just has a big smile on her face. <laughs> Sorry, the, the business side of things kicking in. Oh, it's important. Yeah. You shouldn't apologize for having a clear mind. I know, it's just not something I kind of wanted to be. Oh. Well, we do still appreciate you, regardless. Thanks. Like he said, we're going to need a lot of people. I'll do some call rounds to the other factories then. Let's see if there's anyone left over in some of the other places that can help. Hmm. If it helps we can provide transportation to the location as quickly as possible yeah near instantaneous if you will <laughs> uh that would be helpful oh i thought there was going to be a butt at, at the end of that but okay good i'm just hoping you can fit some uh, larger end digimon through your magic -y gate waste transportation thing we certainly can 
looks at Ogremon. <laughs> no, bigger. Am I just thinking of Magna Chimeramon? <laughs> um, do you have a expected time when everyone will be ready? Uh, if I start doing the calls now, I can get you my people by the end of the day, but gathering everyone, uh, that might take another two days max. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's understandable. It would probably be best to get everyone in one go. Yeah. Besides, we have some other business that we need to attend to. Okay. Alright, I'll start getting to work on helping, I guess. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Might just kind of out, outstretches an arm for a handshake. His, his big hand fucking engulfs yours as he clasps around it. At this point, Mai's used to this. <laughs> Take our leave, then. Yep. Oh, on our, right. after we leave the factory, play. Oh yeah, Vegas. Where, where are the other? Where? I, I I'm assuming Hackmon's there. Yeah, he, Hackmon's always out. He's just kind of resting on his head. Yeah. Where are the? Where are your other Digimon? Oh, uh, they're in here. Okay. He just shows the Digivice. Hmm. Ah. Did. Do they like being in there? I guess so. They said something about tanning on a beach. I don't know. Okay, no, that's fair. Never mind. Must be nice. Oh, well. <sighs> well, we've done our business here. Yep. Yeah. In two days, we'll come back and we'll get everyone. Um... We need to go talk to some people. Okay. Uh, before we then finally get to go to the giant bean. Yep. I hope Seichi was right. What am I saying? Seichi is right. Yeah, the little miracle maker. Little big miracle maker. Might just kind of like give a look to Hibuki before like putting an arm uh, around his like neck. You're a miracle maker too. Yeah, but uh, so all has miracle makers. That's kind of what we do. Yeah. That includes you too. Might <laughs> just kind of, as a matter of fact, points at Vedas. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. I mean, you did break through Lusamon's control. Sounds like a miracle to me. Yeah. Take what you can get. Trust me. <laughs> the little, it's the big and small victories. Okay, alright. Okay, so who wants pie? Yeah. Because where we're I'm going, sure. we're probably going to get pie. <laughs> alright. Dude, going dude. to was it Castle Town. I'm yep. Trying to remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mountain. <laughs> Mountain. I'll stab you. The mountain will stab me first. Don't worry, Jack. I'm still afraid of you, but I'm still gonna make the joke. Make it while you can, child. I'll just put this on the world map for a sec. It fucking blends in. Alright, you make your way back through the castle town. Yep. We're not making any detours here. Unless everyone needs to actually like make a detour. Literally, there would only be one person I'd drop by, but I'm like, this is kind of important. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll do it um, after this. Okay. We're going to head straight to the castle then. Alright, make your way to the castle. Nippon Chessmon give you both give you some waves and let you in. My waves back. Yep. Okay. Now we're looking for I think it's Magnamon. 
Yeah. Is that right? I think so. Okay. I'm looking for Magnamon. This castle is huge. <laughs> oh. And... Hey, Pawn Chess One. Have you seen Magnamon? Pawn Chess One White just kind of puts his finger to his, uh, his chin and thinks. Adorable. He, he has the light bulb moment and he goes, he points towards the castle. You know what? Fair, Fair enough. Thank you. Yep. We're gonna head into the castle. Can I roll an investigation or something to try and find him? Yeah, Alright. 25. Through these carved out hallways of this giant crystalline structure, you do see some flashes of gold moving down a, down a hallway. We're going to hunt that gold down. We're going to calmly approach them. <laughs> yes. Charges after him. We need you! <laughs> Magnamon! Oh god, they're back. What do you mean, oh god? It's just us three. Yeah. And at least it's, it's just you three. I'm detecting a lot to unpack there, but I'm not going to touch it. It's not just us three, it's our Digimon too. Hi, don't make it worse. So, what do you need? Uh, I've, I've been asking this question a lot, um, but it's the quickest way to get this going. Um, are you familiar with an individual by the name of the Digimon Emperor? Oh, Ken, yeah. Yes. Oh, on a first name basis. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we keep in touch. <laughs> okay. Uh, this makes it easier then. Um, we've located his ship, and we have intentions of potentially bringing it back online to use it for the final confrontation. Hmm. And from what we know, it needs uh, a special energy source. <laughs> I was recommended by Seiichi to ask you about this. Uh, I'm currently wearing that energy source. Oh. What is it's, the, it's the Digi-Egg of Miracles that powered it the first time around. Hmm. Would it be too much to ask to borrow it? <laughs> Without it, I'll be left defenseless. Yeah, that's what I figured. Would you know any potential alternative energy sources, then? Uh, you'd need something big. I don't know if... I don't know of anything that could... be of use right now. Unless... I don't know, maybe if you find if you found destiny. The egg of destiny? Yeah, so that one's been missing in action for a while. Yeah. Even I don't know where that one is. Do you know a way of which we could find it? Or if it's even on this server? I have no earthly idea. We searched and searched for it for a couple of years after the, well, actually it was after the event of uh, the first incident. Incident? You know of uh, Cherubimon, right? Yeah. She has a knife. <laughs> Well, not that Cherubimon, thankfully. Uh, do you know a human by the name of Willis? Oh, he's dead? That's the one. <laughs> Mine oh. just like, gives a double take at <laughs> what Hibuki said, like, huh? <laughs> well, one of her dads. So, 
You're smart. Do you know of what happened with the last one? I am not privy to that knowledge, but I'm assuming something bad. Mm -hmm. Can I make a history check? You can make a history. 14? You know... You know a little bit about the three Arc Celestial Digimon and the fact that a Chororimon is usually the easiest to corrupt. So you can kind of guess maybe that's what happened this first time around. What made uh, Owie's Digimon, right? Mr. Sniffles? No, it was... It was the, the it was the sister. It was it was his it was his lobmon that changed. He was messing with things that he ought not to have done. Oh yeah, didn't um my, my parents actually said something about like a weird weird event where Goo Digimon fought in the internet or something like that. Is that related? That was the trigger point. Huh. A lot of people witnessed that event. Mostly children, though. Adults didn't care for it. They thought it was just some sort of hoax. Or at least a children's TV show. They didn't realize it was real. Hmm. What does this have to do with the Egg of Destiny? <laughs> It took two of us to take it down the first time. Me with Miracles, and Willis's did other partner Terriamon. He was the last person to use Destiny. Whatever happened to that Terriamon? <laughs> as far as I know, he's still living with Willis. Is it possible it still has it? Maybe. I don't know. We never followed up after that incident. I was a bit more younger and naive then, so... You know what? I'm gonna make a quick call, just as... out of a, just a guess. <laughs> um, Mine's just gonna call Owie. <laughs> Alright. Hey, hello? Hi, Owie. Uh, hello. hello! Hello! I have a question for you, Owie. Okay! Um... Does your dad have a... a, a terrier bun? Uh, I go... which one? Have you seen a weird... golden, like... Uh, like a little golden ornament around I your like house. Little, little golden ornament around my house. Mm. Like gonna a scratch weird your gold Christmas ornament or something like that. Uh, uh, what do I have to roll? Do I have to roll? Roll, a, roll history with advantage. Okay, it's still not great. Still not great. Let's let's see let's see if she can remember. <laughs> Maybe he, maybe she's on about dad's bottle opener. I think on you, my dad said you call a king bottle opener. Hmm. I don't know if that's it. Um, Howie, can you put Seiji on the phone? Mm, no. He <laughs> <laughs> is yelling at Shino for some reason. <laughs> Do we hear the yelling in the background? Okay, well, I'm not gonna argue much, this Allie. point with you, Shino. If you use ham in reverse, you can make a reverse sandwich. But who ever heard of the ma? Uh, you know what? Maybe the digital. Wait, was it a mayo or a ma sandwich? I'll push you off of this cherubi man. <laughs> You're asking which one of my dad's had a carrier mine? 
Um, no, we were wondering about the little golden bobble. Oh, both you and my dad kept carrying your mind, so this is really help. Okay. Maybe Thanks. you could guess. Maybe I could call one of them for you if you wanted. That's <laughs> where Mai just kind of like stops and thinks to herself and goes, Oh, right, I can just like actually contact them myself. Do you want me to give you your phone numbers? Sure. Okay. So, you see, how do I give people other people's phone numbers? Why are you giving people. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to my. He wants to talk to one of my dads. Oh. Hi, my. Just yelling over the speakerphone. Hi, Seiji. Uh, I, I show Aoi how to, like, send, uh, send my phone numbers. You get both Willis and uh, Henry's phone number, I would assume. Okay. Okay, uh, but don't ahead. tell on me or else I'm going to be super mad at you. I don't know I what I did Ellie. wrong, but I probably did something wrong. I won't, I promise. <laughs> I think Uncle Henry's okay. at work, but Uncle Willis is a layabout. Okay. <laughs> so, you. layabout. I don't know what it means. Mom calls him a trophy husband. Something like that. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna hang up from this phone call now. That's uncomfortable. <laughs> say goodbye. Bye! Bye-bye. Okay. Alright. Well. Also, uh, yeah, you call either of them. I'm not. Uh, I'm the one that gave Ali a spear, and I don't think they like me. While you finish up the first call, you just see a large cake being slid in off screen. What? Mai will just like snap her fingers, point at Hibuki and Vedas, and then point at the cake. Oh, cake. I thought you said cape. <laughs> I was like, what? what? <laughs> Imperial Jamal is just behind saying, I didn't want to interrupt. Carry on. And he uh, just walks off. No, no, ah! Uh, thank you! You're welcome! Nice apron! Thank you! Okay, um... Now another call. I'm, I'm not going to need these numbers. But they're nice to have. Um, I'm just going to finally pull out the scroll. <laughs> <laughs> And Boogie's just uh, going to leave the star map yeah. location. He's like, nope. Oh, that's why she pointed towards the cake, so that way you can just eat cake while Mai's busy with. Okay. Uh, I guess we're calling was it Willis. Mm hmm. Okay, we're calling Willis. All right. You start dialing up the map. The, uh, the portal opens and you see a, a large blonde man just resting back in his chair watching TV with a beer can resting on his gut. Hello, Mr. Willis. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he jerks up out of the chair. Uh, who said that? Me, hello. Oh, did I have one too many again? Uh, no, I mean, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm one of Howie's friends. Oh, uh... Good for you? Uh, I'm sorry. You really startled me. Apologies, um, but this is kind of important. Um, do you perchance happen to know of where the Digi Egg of Destiny is? Or maybe you have it in your possession? Digi Egg. Oh, you mean a bottle opener? Could I see you? <laughs> just goes into opener? the kitchen, brings back a very ornate looking. A very ornate looking bauble, which looks like a ball with a wing coming out the top. 
Maya's just kind of like slow. <laughs> the tip of it to... looks a bit scratched to fuck, though. <laughs> Maya's gonna slow turn to Magnamon. What is Magnamon's reaction seeing all this? He's already bashing his head against the wall. Yeah, that's it. Do you think we could borrow that? Oh, yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Guessing you need it for a uh, Digidestin thing. Yes, sir. Well, I guess uh, if you ever need it, it's right here. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of reach through and just grab it. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a thing you can do, apparently. Yep. Thank you very much. I'll be sure to return it, or I'll have Owie return it. All right. Thank you. Um, also, alcohol is bad for you. But it's so good for me. That's just projecting. <laughs> I have You're nothing fine. to do with my day. You could go for a walk. Ah! Yeah, sure. See you, kid. <laughs> He just walked Not off. Not everyone gets the chance to go for walks. Oh well. Am I just gonna kind of close it? Being a slightly bitter. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Magnamar. He used the sacred artifact to open his beer can. Well, it's we have it. it. Oh, I'm gonna go lie down for a minute. I'm just gonna lie here on the floor. Fuck it, I don't care anymore. He's just laying face down on. He's just starfishing on the ground. <laughs> I just kind of go over and just kind of like pat him on the back. Okay, here. <laughs> I know it's not the time to say this, but at this point, in a couple days, it's likely that everything is going to come to its head. Are, are the Royal Knights going to be ready? He just lifts his head up slightly. Everyone's been mobilized out. We've been dealing with packing everybody's things up and getting them all into the, the proper locations to send them off. Okay, have then. Been vigilant of loose, have you been vigilant of Loose Mon's movements? We can't go track on him. No, wherever he is, he's outside of our view. We and to believe he's in a pocket dimension. One other thing, uh, X1 and Omnimon did tell you about the whole thing with and just kind of like with what happened with Vegas here, right? Yes, we already had that information, thankfully. Okay. At most, it's likely two days before everything kind of goes a little nuts. It... Two, two or three. Give or take. Yeah, it, it all depends. I'll probably have Hibuki send a message of confirmation when we're about to get everything under. Hmm. All Hopefully right. by then everyone will be ready. Oh, also if you see the also if you see um do you know the Wizardmon that runs the convenience store? I don't think I do, but there's a lot of people in this town. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Better question. I know that you're probably under a lot of work and a lot of stress, so... We have one more place that we need to go to today, but do you need any assistance right now? No, thankfully we made up all the plans we needed and we've been following them to a T, so... Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm sorry that you had to see that. But we must away. Can we take the cake with us? 
Yes, take the cake. Yeah. Okay, um, thank you. How weird question, how dirty does uh Magnamon's like armor look? Uh compared to when you first saw him after being beaten the fuck up. It looks it looks like it's in a good condition now. It still has a few like gashes in it. Well, he he's just well, he's just gonna put his hand on like some of the arm like on like I guess a wrist guard or whatever and just cast press vegetation to like clean it. It's nice and shiny. Yeah. Hmm. Well Um, I'm going to Am I just gonna kinda pull out a little bit of like a camping equipment for a moment to grab a knife and then she's gonna cut a piece and then send it off to uh, the other group with the uh, explicit note of this is for God. <laughs> Alright then. Okay. Well, uh, enjoy the weather while it lasts. It's going to get very hot very quick. <laughs> yep. Venus, have you been to band camp? Uh, maybe. No. Do you like music? Yeah, I like a bit of music. Why? All right then, you're gonna enjoy this place then. No, oh, do you like monkeys? Yeah, they're all right, I guess. Okay. What about good. musical monkeys? You're asking me a lot of questions right now. Okay, yeah. let's go. Yep. Yeah. All right, then. As an aside, it was embarrassing how easy it was to get the Digi-Egg of Destiny. <laughs> oh, no, I was, I was like, mother Switch the map. Owie, why are you Owie. <laughs> I am always I, here. I am making a way. Huh. Well, at least it's not... Well, that's not the first time I've had an illusion here. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, was it? That's concerning. Anyways, um... So me and Hibuki have to go out into the desert. If you want to hang around here and just kind of listen to music, Vedas, you're more than welcome. Oh. Or, if you're into exploring and dungeon delving, then maybe you'll actually be wanting to come with us. Also, there's an archangel right over there. Oh yeah, she's nice. Yeah. Don't think too much. About okay. It. Don't <laughs> think too much about it. Yeah, she she runs the bar. This place is weird. You're weird. So you come in or what? Ah. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you can enjoy some drinks and some nice cool water. Or you can come with us to the desert where it's really grainy and horrible. Mmm. <laughs> as much as I love to just stay here and not have to deal with the sand, you're probably going to need me there just to at least see what needs to be done properly. Adventure. <laughs> uh. Hold on. Hmm? First, if we're going out into the desert, let's at least take some drinks with us. Yeah. Oh, actually, um, I actually need to ask Ophani Mon something really quick as well. Okay, go ahead. Hey, Ophani Mon. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna ask. Can I get just get a quick scan? Sure. Okay. And uh, how much water do you guys think we need? <clears throat> yes. Well, we can fly, so it wouldn't take too long. Yeah. <laughs> So oh, you just want some? She just pulls out some just normal bottles of water and just puts them on the table. Yeah. I'll take a bottle. Oh, can I also have something sweet? I get sweet drinks or food. Just a sweet drink. All right. Starts pouring like some stuff into like a cocktail glass. You see the different layers. It's it, it starts off orange, and then it has a, a red hue, and then a, a blue one to top it all off. She puts in a 
tiny umbrella and a straw which has like a uh, tinsel around it. You know those ones where it's just got like the bits that like spider out like a uh, palm tree. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's no alcohol in that, is there? No, it's all fruit juices. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Oh, um, actually, can you know? Can you tell me anything about the Temple of Anubis? There, like, Ken ship that we should be worried about if anything's moved in. No, nope, nothing that I can tell you has been anywhere around that thing since you cleared it out. Mm. Okay. No one really has any use for it. And a lot of people just don't care that it exists. It's kind of a thing people want to forget happened. Ah, uh, okay. Just I mean, a lot of people did technically die because of the event. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we intend to change some perceptions. But that's for if we succeed. <laughs> Thank you for the drinks. You're welcome. Oh, uh, right. Maya's just gonna put down like 10 bits. <laughs> well, let's get going. All right. Don't drink it all in one go, otherwise you'll need to pee on the way. <laughs> I promise nothing. We're not stopping if you need to pee. I'll just unzip on the way. That's disgusting. It's a desert! <sighs> Boys. <laughs> We're to fly over. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. I would imagine getting flying over there is probably going to take a bit. Yeah, it takes a hot minute. Uh, more or less than an hour. I'd say roughly an hour. Okay, cool. We can switch to what the other group is doing while we're flying. Yes. All right, other peeps. So, where were we left for first hand sandwich? Yes, we were talking about a reverse ham. Oh, ham. Oh. It's when you put a piece of bread and then you use two pieces of ham on the outside. She knows on culture, he doesn't know what that tastes like. I'm telling you, it's not gonna catch on. It's gonna get too messy. Everyone's gonna get mayo in their hands. But you okay, put the... but what if you had an interlocking sandwich that was composed of multiple layers of bread in between ham and a pattern, but on top, on the top, very top layer was the ham, and on the very bottom layer was the bread, would it still be a sandwich? Huh. It's a pretty convincing argument. I mean, we're going to we're going to talk to God anyway. If anybody would know the answer, it's him. That's I true. would, I would argue it would be either a, a reverse sandwich with bread on the bottom, or a normal sandwich with ham on the top. I'm gonna be honest with you, Howie. You're making a yes. lot of sense, and I I know I know where this is gonna go. I'll I'll pay for a research grant when we get home. Okay. I think this, this is how uh, Ali got her scholarship. This is this requires this requires a mind more sophisticated than ours. It, it's for the people at NASA or something to figure out. <laughs> the first ever sandwich in space. Oh, <laughs> she know. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, we have to make the reverse sandwich. Oh, we're here. Look. Oh, oh fresh. I'm just hoping that you know, like all the aliens are just allergic to him. Huh. Maybe that's why we don't have reverse sandwich technology. Because they're allergic yeah. to ham. You know, I have a question. Yeah? A very serious question. Shoot. What if Oops. the aliens came down from outer space and they were nice? That's crazy talk! Crazy! What if they said you were, like, doing okay and they patted you on the head? I don't know yet. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna withhold judgment until the day that happens. Okay. Except for judgment, they're all evil. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, <laughs> hey, I've been wondering, uh, Latman, you met God before, right? Uh, maybe a few times. Like, what, what kind of person is God? I mean, is this going to be like a situation like, are we going to have to have Abby melt God's heart with a, you know, like a, a frosty cool island song? <laughs> what heart? Dude's an asshole. So we have the cool with hot temper with a fresh island song. Trust me. If you can even get <laughs> if you can get a word in edgeways towards him without him just shutting you down, that'll be a miracle in of itself. Well, he's gonna have to deal with me. <laughs> He's gonna have to deal with a crew! Oh, say she. Say she. Say she. Lotmon just pushes your cheeks together and just holds your head. <laughs> uh, he's worse than your mom. Yeah, Barb. And he's like, his face is all squished. If someone's being mean to me, you won't let them do that, right? I can try with this one. Nor. Oh! Any other Digimon? Definitely. With Drazel? I'm not so sure I can deal with that one. Seiji. And that's coming from me. Seiji squishes Lotmon's face this time. Did you forget who you are? No. That's the thing. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But what I'm trying to tell you, Lotmon... And Seiji look, looks at her very honestly and like... There's no one in this world I have more confidence in than you. And then he just kind of like smiles. It doesn't matter if he's worse than mom. Because I may not be able to do it on my own, but... When it's you and me together, there's really nothing we can't do. So, I hope so. Well, we have Aoi, she's hope. I am Hulk! So I've also been really elusive today, I don't like it. <laughs> Plus, if you talk to Shino, he's one of the most likable people we know. You could be mad at him. Poses. You're gonna eat him alive. <laughs> Drazel better be ready. Metaphorically and maybe physically. <laughs> like he'd be able to even get a chance to spy on me. Too fast for your boy. And then Seichi's gonna actually have okay. a flying over Jack. Before we land, Seichi's gonna pull out Atomamon. Hey, uh, Atomamon, can I ask you something? Mm hmm? I have something in mind with you, but before we go, there's... Can I make one final wish? Yeah. Because if we're gonna... If we're trying to change the way the future is anyway, I think we should do everything we can for the better. And I look towards Shino and Aoi. <sighs> I think I know where you're going with this, bro. I wish the Digimon card game would never go out of style, no matter what time Not ever! Is. That's gonna be cool forever! <laughs> I just like collecting them because the pictures on them look really cool and also the cardboard is very tasty. I can try to grant that wish, but... I can't fully interfere with people's own wants and desires. Mm. I can shape the, the world. I can't shape people's heart. Even for a slice of cake? It didn't, like, holds the cake my Yumi gave us up. <laughs> it might as well be its own full cake, that's how big it is. I'm afraid even like that. Some things you just have to change on your own without wishing. Some okay. things just fall out of fashion, and that's nothing that can be changed. So you see, I'm thinking full-scale campaign. 
Shino, do you know how much? Oh wait, I forgot. Watachi Kawa. Never mind. We got this. <laughs> I think Mom has a secret militia for campaign, or it was, it was campaign or reprogramming. I don't remember. Oh. Uh, like, like VCIs? I mean, people don't use us anymore. She said not to ask questions until I'm 19. I don't know. She said one day it'll all be yours. <laughs> My mom's silly. <laughs> Look, Seiichi. Everything the light touches is your kingdom. What's the light doing to the other people? Brainwashing. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's good to stay clean. <laughs> How long before we land at the bar? I'll say you fuck, you make it there at this point. As we as we land, I'm just reading the text from my bottle opening. Oh, away. the gold you're thingy! Wait, is that what that was? Owie, your dad's bottle opener was a, a DJ? I I guess so. I thought it was a bottle opener, but. Wait, I might describe you I sound it, you know? <laughs> it just goes to figure the last place you ever looked at, you ever took the look is your own backyard! You know, that wasn't funny. It was meant to be funny, it was ironic. I think we need to keep you honest with each other. You know, you're only funny, like... 98% of the time. <gasps> oh, shit! Damn, roll 3d6 for burn damage. Yeah, only 2% you know, you need to work on. Damn, I mean... I mean, honest judgment is always good for my friend. And we replaced it for- I'm glad you can understand. I'm gonna pat him on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Just Jesus. lift him up as we start walking. Hey there, you know. Absolute fucking savagery that was. <laughs> <look. laughs> also, text back to Mayumi. I just leave the egg with Aoi. Uh, she can just take it home when she's done. Wait, hold on. Yeah, she... Aoi, can you? Would you be okay with making sure you give your dad his bottle opener back? Oh yes, I won't forget about it, because I never forget about anything. What are we talking about? Uh. <laughs> oh, wait, the bottle opener. Yeah, no, that he looks cool. I won't forget about it. Hmm. It's probably better with you anyway, you know, in an emergency, you just scream golden armor energize. I don't even know what that means. It makes Mr. Sniffles all shiny. Oh my gosh! Really? He'll be all shiny and he'll he'll shoot smiley face rockets. Wow! Oh, <laughs> smiley face rockets. But only for emergencies, Owie. Okay, only for emergencies. And just uh, start heading towards the bar with everyone. <laughs> Is Seraphine right. still in there? You make your way to the bar. There's still a lot of people inside just casually dancing, not all fully understanding what's going on with them. I'm never gonna get used to that. At least they found peace in some way. We're going to make sure that this is all that's left in this bar. And just like holds out like his, uh, like for like a three-way fist bump with Aoi and Chino. We'll make sure no one else has to come here until it's their natural time. Agreed. 
Booya. Hmm. Hey, Seraphimon, are you here? You just see the normal bartenders at the one downstairs. Oh, that's right, we have to go up. Just heading on up. You head on upstairs. Is he here? But who? Hold on. Because uh -huh. I could have that screenshot. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's standing there behind the bar. Already has drinks out for everyone here. Welcome back. You were coming, didn't you? I always have an eye on things. You know what we're here for? I do. Is it possible? It's tricky, but not impossible. <laughs> what do we need to do? And will a slice of cake sweeten the deal? I can get you in. That's as far as I can help, I'm afraid. Okay. Everything after that will be up to you to deal with. Owie? Gino? <laughs> Ready. Thank you, boy. Oh, oh yeah. I'm I was choking down a drink currently. It's very yummy. Your help is appreciated, Seraphimon. Well, it's going to be a bit before I can get you in. So, relax for a moment. Well, if that's the case, pulls that digivice. Everyone out! Everyone starts fumbling out. Same as well. Welcome to the bar at the end of the world. You're gonna have to find a way to convince this King Drazel to keep this digital world going. If we can't convince him, I think I have a backup plan, but from everything I've heard, I think we're going to probably have to go with the backup plan. But I'm still willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. And do you know anything about him? About the king? Yeah. Legally, I'm not allowed to say anything. Does that mean? It means exactly what it means. Looks you make you sign the NDA? Legally, I'm not allowed to say anything. Looks to Lotmon, who told us about him on the way over here already. Find something too. Technically, I already died and came back, so I'm out of that. <laughs> well, that's my little loophole. <laughs> <laughs> I just give her a smoosh hug. <clears throat> Owie, you got any thoughts on how we can uh, try to? Convince this uh, Digimon King. Mm -hmm. oh, to keep the world going, so that way it doesn't have to disappear. That way everybody can mm -hmm. keep their homes. Oh, I think I can be very convincing. I wouldn't doubt that. Oh, improvise. You know what? 
think you might be right on the money, Owie. Maybe we don't need to overthink this. Maybe we just need to... Do what we do best. And, like, looks to Shino. Look, I ain't paying for improv classes. That's a scam. No, Shino. And then just goes over and, like, puts his hand up to your ear and whispers. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we haven't done that in a long time. Well, no time like the present, right? Then it's the last thing you'll be expecting. Seiji goes and whispers something to Aoi. If I said a bad word, would you tell my parents? Seiji holds up the you say nothing. You're with the big kids, Aoi. Achoo! Then we all go in for a try five. <laughs> huh? There's no way this isn't gonna work. It worked on Magnamon. I don't really know anybody else he loves more than us. It is true. Get ready to call this episode kicked out of heaven. You don't even know, Jack. Hush up, you're not here. You're not a part of this. You stay over there, God. <laughs> we can't let this world disappear. It's... It's too important. And it's not fair that this world has to disappear just because some... Cause Lucemon thinks he owns it and can do whatever he wants with it. I've been wanting to give that guy a beat down since what he did to Castletown. This time will come. It looks towards everybody's Digimon. <laughs> He's not gonna know what hit him when the time comes. <laughs> They check them in the snows. Dang it! And I'm gonna hold up my drink and just like, for everybody who's got something, just for like, uh, like just holding it up in the air. For the digital world. For the digital world! To avenge all our friends! Hmm. And clink glasses, then we all just have a a fucking like, just like we just. I just want everybody to like just cheer out loud, like fuck Lucimon. <laughs> yeah, no one's taking creepy bail away. <laughs> so I really like Bam Camp. <laughs> Hive Town will disappear over my dead body. That it will. Oh, was that you? I'm not afraid of you. Bring it. Let's go. <laughs> so he pulls out. I'll fucking square up right now, bitch. Fucking bring it. He pulls out Arandite, <laughs> evolves it to Claret, and cuts his own hand off. First one's on the house. Let's go. <laughs> Shit, that was my dominant hand. You start doing the thing where you're puffing out your chest. What's up, bruh? What's up? What? You want to go? I'm right here. I'm right here. Huh? Make the first move. The game? Well, these hands are ready to be for everyone. Come catch it. This is just- we're just having- we're just shit-talking in a bar until we get- oh, we get the okay to pass through. Or at least that's what I'm doing. I don't- I don't know if Aoi and Shino have anything else to do. No, not Aoi. Aoi's just waiting. Shino's just loving being in the group of us. Did you mind again? Hmm. I'm throwing something together very quickly because. Oh, why not? oh that's why God's Stalin. Yeah. Well, while you're stalling, then I'm gonna do this. Uh, what is? I think it'll be a strength check on my end. Hey, two. All right, I need somebody to help me with this. I'm trying to hold Agumon back from the cake. 
Akuman, it's for God. You can't eat it. But I want it. It looks so delicious. Listen, I'll, I'll get you a cake when we go home. But that's too far away. Come on, we can teleport. Teleport me now, then. I want cake. <laughs> Can't have cake right now, Agumon. <laughs> Start petting his head gently. I don't want to deny you anything, but we need this to butter up God. Ooh. I have I have jerky if you want that. No. Here, Agumon, if you be patient right now, I'll get you two cakes. Okay. And ice cream. Alright. Okay. Alright. We could probably do better than that. I mean I mean we could we could bring him by and pills, your mom. Yeah, I'm sure he'll make you all the cake you want. You and they're promise. huge. If he doesn't, I'll make sure to get you all the cake you want. Okay. Ha! Just hug him gently. You are a lovable handful. I'm back in the bar. Just rock him on a piece from around a, a, a corner behind everyone. Well, you have permission to go up. Mm, okay. Uh. He, he tell me when. I'll give you the signal. Thank you, Seraphiman. And just kind of like. Be careful. <coughs> we'll do what we do best. It does stand for the confidence and the weddings. Cross our way through. All right, you walk down the hall behind you that Sarakimon came from around. You turn to the left and you see two elevators. Do they say anything, or are they just? They just look like normal elevators. We tell the guy lied to about his album covers. As someone who has seen a certain anime, Jack, I'm sweating profusely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Elevator going up. Mm. Just give me a surprise he ain't expecting. Uh, do we, which one do we go through? I have no idea. I just yell around the corner. Which elevator? Either one. Okay, either one, Owie. <laughs> just press up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Push button. Step into the elevator. It's a very nice elevator on the inside. It's got a nice, like, carpeted flooring. It's decorated in the golden. Like, a, it's not red, but it's not like a blood red. It's like that kind of in between y crimson where it's just right that works with that kind of gold. Oh, uh, where it's almost like a, a burgundy ish. Yes, that's the one. Ah, uh, it's a nice color. I like that one. There's only two buttons labeled in that elevator, up and down. Yeah, let's not do that one. Mm, I'm very resisting to our surprise while we open at the same time. I yeah, just leave us here, probably. Mm -hmm. Gonna push the up button and then stand, like stand in front of Aoi. 
The elevator dings, the doors close. It's eerily quiet in this elevator. Not even the sounds of movement outside that you'd normally hear from an elevator moving up. But you can still feel as if it is moving. Okay, I have bad news for you. Elevators make me crazy. You know... <laughs> just... Just try not to throw up. Okay, I'm holding it. <laughs> Alright, the second we... Howie, the second we know... Or we're in front of King Drazel, that'll be the signal to go, okay? Okay. So she's gonna start doing stretches. Uh, I think we're only gonna get one shot at this. So, no holding back, Shino. Every little bit of it you got. Stretching <laughs> calves. <laughs> How long is the ride, Jack? The elevator just keeps going, and going, and going. It feels very monotonous to a point. Until you feel the... You feel the pressure just kind of subside. And then... Ding! The elevator doors open, and immediately you are bombarded with light. Right. It takes you a minute to adjust to from the from the false indoor lighting to what appears to be a natural light of outside. Man, I knew heaven was bright, but this is ridiculous. Yeah, Sage. I was gonna put on my sunglasses. You know what? Thank you, Shino, for buying me these. And he puts this on, too. Got my pair as well. <sighs> oh, wait, I'm always wearing them. <laughs> Immediately when you step out of this elevator, you see tree roots and branches all around you. Like you're practically standing on a canopy layer of them. Tree roots in heaven. I was you expecting at, clouds. You look ahead, and you see the rest of said tree. It goes so high up. You can see clouds forming around it as its trunk stretches higher and higher and higher into the sky. It leaves barely visible to you from where you stand. Is this the world tree? King Drake. Come forward! Just immediately snap into position and start walking forward. Oh, you will follow. Oh yeah. Even if you weren't already going this way, you would have felt like that voice going straight through you as if you had to follow its orders. You just keep walking across these branches, these thick branches of a tree that, when you manage to look below you, through like any gaps you can see, you can't see a bottom to this tree. The trunk that you see in front of you also stretches down farther and farther until it just reaches a blackness that... You can't see anything past. I guess we really are on the pinnacle of the world. Just <laughs> starts making our way directly into the tree. You, you see... What looks like old, broken down buildings. Just on the layer of tree branches around you. 
looks like they haven't been lived in for many years now. Oh, see, this is the kind of thing I was talking about. You think you touch at the place? I look over towards Lotmon Jack, since she's got both of the holy rings of Seraphimon and Dofanimon, as well as who she is. Is she reacting weird in this place? She's shaking. What's wrong? Still don't like this. I still don't like him. I take. I hold up my uh, my hand to take hers. Together, no matter what. She holds. Would you yeah. Feel, would you feel better if you digivolved? No. I still wouldn't feel safe. Seiichi has a moment where he does feel a little like seeing Lotmon this shook up. But then he just looks down at his digivice. And then he looks at her and it's like... Just remember, Lotmon. Courage isn't not being afraid. It's doing what we have to do even though we are afraid. I know. I know. Let's just keep going. You start getting closer to the trunk even though it's still what looks to be miles and miles away. But you do start coming up to some form of structure. Something different, but the same as what you are on. It looks like more branches, but they seem to twist and bend in a... In a less natural way. More... I don't know what the word for it is. It's more... At angles. It's very angular in how it stretches upwards. So more of like, rather than like a natural growth going up, it's a bit more of an intentional growth. Yeah. Atop the pillar of branches, you see a glowing white orb. Look up and there. around it, an avatar seems to spring up from the tree itself. And what you now see is... Oh... Are you King Drazel? The thing floating from behind the orb almost in a flash of light, appears before you. Oh. Oh, funny. I am he. What do you want? You're aware of the situation this world will go under, and what is to become of it, right? I am aware. Is there any way to stop this world from disappearing and allow it to exist side by side with the soon-to-be boundary world? No, there isn't. Is there not a way or do you just not want to do it? This world has to fall now. Why? Because that is the way it will work. Like, I would, I would actually like look towards uh rather not look towards Shino. It would be one of those things where it's like, uh, Shino, would you make a perception check real fast? Sure will. Da 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 da. 12. We had this plan to go, but Seiichi's looking a lot more tense than he was a few seconds ago with this thing in front of him. 
Sheena's gonna put a hand in your shoulder. And just like, it just nod like, got this. Why does the world need to disappear to work? Why can't this place stay? Because it's out of my hands now. Ooh, Do you think I want this? You... Then why did you let it get to this state? I didn't let it get this far. It was him. The one you are going against. He was clever. He outsmarted me. Did he take something from you? And now it's too late. What did he do to stop the world from existing? What did he take from you? It's not what he's done, it's what he's going to do. And there's nothing that can stop it anymore. Then why did you ask us to stop him? If there was no way to stop It wasn't him? me that asked you. Who there's another us? force in this world. The will of the world itself. It still needed someone to fight back for it. Damn, sounds like you never had any control at all. I control what happens in the world. But not everything is under my purview. So you're unable to stop it. It's going to happen no matter what. So you just Why do you think I'm letting my royal knights do my dirty work to get them? So you're just gonna stand my... his feet in the ground, Jack. And has Drazel met the other Digi Destins before, or at least does he does he know of them? He'll probably know of them. Seiichi's face would take on a very meme like expression at this moment. I don't accept that answer from you. Well, it's tough, isn't it, Tachikawa? Indeed it is, Drazel. You claim to be a king of the digital world. Why don't you stand by and fight to make sure it stays? Till your last end. Just like you and the will of this world expected us to do. If you can't stop it, and you can't stop him, and we can't stop him, so you say from doing it, then why don't we try together? You can still stop him. You just can't stop Stop what's happening to this world. What is happening then? What is he going to do? It's going to encroach from the outside in. Deletion. He means from my world? On the corners of our world map. Could I roll a history check to see what he might be referring to, Jack? Yeah. Eleven. You don't really understand these what he's trying to get at. Look. For the sake of all worlds, could you at least be transparent and specifically say What's encroaching? What is deletion? What is he doing? What is he trying to get? Or what is he trying to, like... He's trying to unlock 
what we hid away behind the door of his kind. He's trying to break the seal on Millennium on. That's what I told you guys about. There's always one of their kind roaming the world. There's always one of each seven demon lords. And he's been collecting them each death. And it fuels him. So That's what I mean. It can't be stopped. I don't think that's technically true. What if he was stopped before he breaks the seal? He just... You just hear a very loud, audible sigh as the entire tree just starts shaking. You don't get it. He just needs the soul. What's that? there are many demon lords down in the in the dark area just waiting to be used. And he's already made up for the ones that you destroyed. hasn't been broken yet. No, it hasn't. So what you're telling me right now is... When he breaks the seal, there's nothing that can be done. But he hasn't broken it yet, Drazel. You still aren't understanding me. All I hear is that you've already given up before anything's been done. The seal was placed in a place even I cannot get to. It was put there out of my reach on purpose. But, well, there's the solution. It's out of your reach. Seiji. It might not be out of someone else's reach. Goes into the, uh, goes into his bag and pulls out a Tamamon. A Tamamon. Mm hmm? If you were to work in tandem with Drazel, we may not, we can't destroy the seal. But could you move it? Lucemon made you himself. I can't interfere with his plans. You know that. He's not allowing you to interfere with it. I'm sorry, I cannot help. Looks to Shino. I feel like... I feel like we know something or someone that can. I swear, I swear it's at the tip of my tongue. It's there. You know, I kind of did him on good potentially access to you. It would have to be someone with the ability to traverse further down the dark area than... Seiji looks at his arm. The seal isn't in the dark area. It's beyond the dark area. It's between space. Between... Seiji! Trazel, if it's between space... 
If I can let you through there, could you do something? I cannot enter between space. That, that's not what I mean. If you can't enter it then... And Sage is gonna actually do something different, Jack. Mm -hmm. He's going to, like, approach Drazel a little bit, and he's going to go down, like, onto one knee and bow. Will you grant me something if I go in there to do it? Allow me I'll to assist hear out you. Your plan. This world means more to me than anything. I can't watch it and sit by idly and just let it disappear. If you act as my power, will you let me be your hand and deal with this? This has nothing to do with duties of a digi-destined or anything like that. This is for all worlds. And I will not allow Lucimon to treat this world to treat your world with disrespect. Whether or not you will be my power, I'll go in there myself if I have to. But with you on our side, maybe things don't have to be set in stone. Please. If it's fated to... And he's just kind of like tearing up a bit. Even if it's only... A 1% chance. A less than 1% chance. It's still more than absolute zero. And he goes from one knee into the full, like, traditional, like, head to the ground bow. Stand up, boy. rises up. He's got lot more. The Avatar closer. The Avatar comes down slowly to meet your gaze now. On his way down he does shrink to be more of like a like standard adult human size. So he's not as imposing. Still a weird shape, but mm -hmm. I don't want your power for myself. And I'll gladly give it back once we've settled this. And if things were to go wrong, turns his head back and looks at Aoi and Shino. There's more than enough muscle to make sure everything will go right. Shino. Yo! Aoi. Yes. Will you stay by my side till the end? Oh, of course. Just if, if you had to ask. Turns his head back to Drizzle. If he thinks your world is so exploitable, he mocks you with the way he does things, King Drizzle. And I say King Drizzle because you're a king. Give him one hell of a fight. And see, he's not breaking his gaze from Drazel. He does look nervous, but he's like, he looks like his resolve is set. You and the Avatar exchange glances for a moment before it turns its back to you and hovers away. I won't give you my power.
You already have everything you need. I... <laughs> we... Have given you everything we can help you. Then... This is in order then, I suppose. And... He's going to... He's going to bow. This world will not disappear. This world will disappear. <laughs> I didn't say it would vanish completely. I just wanted to see your resolve first. Sorry for being so agitative towards you. I needed to know my world was in good hands. So she kind of takes a deep breath hearing that. Everything here just it means so much to us. This world will disappear. It won't be itself anymore. But I'm not going to let him destroy it completely. That's why I need your small friend there. It looks towards Automamon. There will be one window of opportunity. when the world is no longer of his concern. And that is when I will use him. What my plan is, thankfully, it's because of you that I had this idea in the first place. You built yourself a connection on the outer islands you connected your dreams to the second server you connected to Iliad we did right now when did we do that? you should remember Seiji it was one hell of a dance number Seiji just kind of like, it kind of dawns on him. That was the other server? It was. Did you not see the empty boxes? Thirteen of them. Scattered around the top of the theater. That was the places for the Olympus Twelve. You're gonna merge what remains of this world with Iliad, aren't you? There's enough room in Iliad for the rest of my islands. That's isn't... why I was trying to tell you I cannot help. All of my energy is going into moving the islands close enough together so the encroachment from the edges do not touch them. So when the time comes, I can get everything over there. But I cannot have any Digimon left to do so, because that would be putting them in danger. So the evacuation is... Hey, that's already underway, right? It should be done pretty soon. Thankfully, there's not that many Digimon readings left in this world, so that means most, if not all, have already fled. I apologize for my harshness with you. Do not apologize. I brought it out of you on purpose. You did exactly what I wanted. As everybody always does. Well, 
Well, I think with that common sage, he playing ace in order. There really is nothing and, like I've been trying to tell you as well, you have your way to find him. The compass, right? Your other friend. The one who took the Slayer's trial. He has a house, does he not? The creepy house? What do you think was outside the house's windows? Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah, why can't you? Its physical form rests on our plane. But the rest of it does not. The only way truly into that house is through the front door. That's what connects it. Enter through any other way, through a window or a gap in the wood. And you'd just be inside a normal house. So you we... have the doorway. So if we cross the door, we'll be where he is. You'll be in the same realm. And unless you have some way to find the vanishing castle... <laughs> yeah, we do! Right, oh, I know. This one? oh, I know you do. Don't forget. I am king. I know everything. Well, Seiji, we can still prove him wrong on that one. Alright, uh, gestures towards Aoi to do it. So plan A. Plan Okay, listening audience at home. Um, obviously, we can't actually play copyrighted music during the video, but I'll tell you what song Aoi is playing. Um, <laughs> the Hand That Thieves by Streetlight Manifesto. You ready, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> 19 on Seiji's end. And... <laughs> can I get a bandage because I got Seiji backing me up? <laughs> Alright, I'll give it to you That's this time. That's 20, baby! And immediately, we just, Seiichi and Shino with Aoi playing the music in the background, we break into the most elegant dance number you've ever seen. With Shino's nat 20, he really pulls it home. No matter what he tries to do to stop us, we know where he is. We know how to find him. Seiichi's got his digivice pulled out and then he snaps his goggles into place on his head as he looks down at Lopmon. What did I tell you, Lopmon? Oh, he's a lot, been a lot more understanding than normal. <laughs> That's because my world is about to die, what do you expect? I won't be an asshole all the time. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you know everything, don't you, King Drazel? Almost everything. Didn't expect that last one. I five Shino on the down low. Oh yeah. <laughs> I heard you already. You're not very quiet with your whispers. Yeah, but you didn't know what the dance was going to look like. That I didn't. Sneaked it up. We're full of surprises. And... Looking at Lotmon again, like, with all- with everything she has with her. I think I may have one more in store for Lucimon. Will it work? That one I cannot say. Only time can tell that one. Do you want it to work? Even if it does not, everything will still be fine. 
I will save them. Well, you're not gonna have to do it alone. I know. I have my little toys to do that for me. Now be gone. Starts to... Starts to walk out and then just... Hold on, he just call us toys. Maybe it just means we're fun. <laughs> sage has got a big stupid smile on his face as we're like walking out and... Do we... Is, <laughs> he, is the elevator... That's your planning face. And I pick Lotmon up and I look her directly in her face. You heard what he said, Lotmon? Mm-hmm. Even God can't predict what you'll be able to do. I told you I have full confidence in you no matter what. <laughs> Can you be the so, strongest for oh. me? As if you even had to ask. I fist bumped my little bunny. So we're all getting in the elevator? I thought I figured we were in the elevator when I was doing that. Okay, so before the elevator door closes, right before it's about to close, you get you get Shino and uh, Demi Demi Mon sticking their heads out, looking straight towards Drazel, doing the Akanbe <laughs> face. <laughs> well, with that, the elevator doors close. We watch it from the outside as it sinks into the leaves and the brushes of the tree. As it heads back down to the bar. And I think that's a good place to leave this session off. Skink you, this thing, guy! You, you stared into the face of God today. And we skanked at him. She's very out in the open, so if they can see the guards, Spencer and Anne can see what she is doing. Yeah. And she's going to just go onto her side and just, like, pull up one of the water bottles and, like, open up the spout. And yes. put it directly near the back of the dude's neck, just to where it's not touching the skin. And then... Just go, hey, you. Ah. And as he turns around, uh, liquid sword two-fourths. Okay. Straight through the neck. Oh. 